folks, I'm CPC Gamer, and welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's great. It's Friday, and it's also the birthday of one of the Simons from Stanenge. So, genuinely, that's why I'm doing this, and it's not that I forgot to do it. This one's for you. Click. It, it, it's not the same when there's a group of us and he does that directly into the Yeti mic, but well, I, I hope I hope he appreciates it wherever he is. I don't really have anything else to say, so we're gonna go over. We're gonna do murder by numbers. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I did my investigation, and then. I, it was a very chatty part coming up, says Empirical Woodland. So I hope you're ready for a lot of voices that don't like the same as they normally sound. It did sound like a can being open, didn't it? That was that was always his thing. You're just not gonna leave me alone, are you? How's the interview going? The guy's driving me crazy. I don't know how he does it, but he's climbed up tight into the rhino in a wetsuit. I know why he's not talking. Why? Because I'm not going hard enough. No, he's not talking because he's innocent. Are you serious? An hour ago, you wanted me to throw the book at him. I've been trying to tell you since we got here. How many times am I going to have to tell you? You're not a real detective. You can't walk in here and expect me to overturn hours of work just because you've changed your mind. Work that I did, incidentally. Everything I've seen points to John. Until I've missed something, unless I've missed something, that case is closed. But we found new evidence that I told you, put it on the front desk. I'll get to it tomorrow. But you need to see this now. What could possibly be that important? What could possibly be that important? I forget, was it you? Oh yeah, there you go. I didn't want to believe it either, but I was wrong. We found fingerprints on the murder weapon. Fingerprints? They match a police. They match a police file on a man called Frank Pritchell. I'm. I was thinking this today. I regret deciding to voice Scout with a cheerful voice, no matter what. Because bouncing in and out of cheerful voice is it takes a little minute, you know. Better known to us as Tully. He was disguised, but it's him. How did you lift the prints? The lab told me they don't have a slot for hours. Scout did a micro-level scan of the award. Once I had an image of the- You hacked the police computer? I should have you both arrested. For solving a case? Get your priorities straight, detective. Frank Pritchell killed Blake, and he's still out there somewhere. Wait a second, where are you going? We've got Pritchell's address on file. I've got to call on the guy before he leaves town. If he gets away now, she's gonna bust me down to traffic. What about us? We found- Absolutely not. You stay here. And I mean it this time. Don't move until I get back. I assume we'll be ignoring his instructions as usual. You catch on pretty quick, Scout. Also, I'm with you guys. Death to Geometry, Annihilate Algebra. I should probably have stuck with that because I'm running out. It's episode, what, three? And I'm already running out of procedural crime dramas where I can substitute in maths words. I'm quite proud of today's Randall and Hopkirk subtracted. That's great. As I, dr As I drove, my mind turned over the day's events. Blake's death, Scout's appearance, John's arrest, Frank's guilt. Uh, my stomach was tap dancing like Bojangles Robinson. Seemed like the whole world was turning inside out. Dizzying whirlwind with me at the center. It is going noir. I'm so glad. Up ahead, I saw Cross pull to the curb outside an apartment block. Frank's place. There was a crowd of people gathered outside. A yellow curtain flooded in the breeze. Something wasn't right. Oh no! 
boost you a little bit. Frank Pritchell was dead. They said it was that. A note in his apartment said he hadn't meant to kill Blake. Things got out of hand. He couldn't live with himself. The usual stuff. I tied up everything neatly enough for the police. Case closed. But it wasn't enough. For me. I wanted answers. I wanted to know why I was involved. And then... Then I wanted out. To run away. Regroup and salvage whatever was left of my life. Little did I know, the universe had a different plan for me. Case closed. Question marks? Well, do you know what? I... I very well could have done that at the end of the last stream. But, this actually answers a question that I was going to ask another time. What do you mean, A? Isn't that like a rank F? Uh, F. F. Rank S for Sierra. And there's a bunch of extra clues. Did I miss some puzzles? I may have missed some puzzles. Ah, we'll come back to that. Case 2, Fallen Star. That's a pretty good Neon Fly song, by the way. There is, but you need to do the bonus puzzles. I thought the bonus puzzles came from getting points. Hmm. It had been a great start to the summer. The job I loved my whole career was gone. I was lost. And that was the least of my worries. I hadn't seen a real body since Dad's funeral. But suddenly, I was haunted by death. First Blake, then the man who killed him. And somehow, in a way I couldn't begin to understand, I was at the center of it all. The only good thing to come out of that day was meeting Scout. But he had problems of his own. Could he even understand what I was going through? Still, it was good to have someone to talk to. It was a nice feeling. Comfortable. Like old shoes. I wondered how long it would last. I know that's supposed to be Honor's internal monologue, but also... Sure, it's... I like doing noir. It's fine. See, what did I tell you? Your friends are late. I said we should have taken a cab. You really want to miss your own awards show? I'll be here, Mom. They're probably stuck in traffic. Dick Stanford is hosting this year. I bet he's not stuck in traffic. He's a professional. Ask Casey to drive you to the awards. Can't bail on him just because you invited yourself along at the last second. Well, it's not like you were going to bring a date, is it? Speaking of which, I saw Ryan the other day. Ryan and I are through, Mom. Divorced. It's over. With that attitude, I'm hardly surprised. But there's no substitute for a good man. I should know. That reminds me. I found something yesterday while I was cleaning out a drawer. Think of it as an early birthday gift. My birthday was three months ago, Mom. Why have I always got to make such a big deal out of everything? Just take it. Car keys! Round two! Um, so what's that? Ten across? So that's you. And you have to be nine. So how's everybody doing this fine day? I hope the answer is well. And uh, that has to be you. You. Yeah, it does. Because it's it's got to be a five up here. And there's like a one down here. And there we go. I have been doing far too much color P-Cross on the Mega Drive one, because that's like, hey, 
you know what's real cool? Finding patterns and applying this to the puzzle at hand. Rextrus is off work next week, heck yeah! That's what we like to hear. So you have to be there, which means that has to be you. You are the three. You go like that, you go like that. I have gone too far down on that there row. That's what that problem was. There we go. Man, it's nice to be back doing this. Big fan. So that means that has to be you. Because I need to put a one here. And I can't put it there. Because that's there. So, there we go. Get rid of you. Can't be you. You need to be a number one. So that I can do that. So, yeah, what are your plans for your week off? You, sh you should do something super cool. I filled that in wrong. It's a locket! Play all the video, every single one of them. That's fine. Open it up. There's a photograph inside. Oh, wow. Why is that police officer standing in front of a giant brown hat? It must be at least 25 feet in diameter. How big must the person who wears that hat be? I will need to add this to my database. No scout. It's the brown derby on Wilshire. I loved that restaurant as a kid. And he's not just any police officer. It's a photo of her father. Not that that's any of your business. Really, Honor. I don't know where you found this thing. It's not even human. Correct! I am not human! I am Scout! You better point that counter if you some... Let's start, Mom. Just happy you found this photo. I don't have a lot of pictures of Dad. It's good to see him again. Thanks for this. I appreciate it. So, I'm like... <laughs> about time you sh <laughs> She cut off his theme tune. That's great. <laughs> it's about time you showed up. I always thought you were unreliable, but this takes the cake. Ms. Ms. Right. He I delightful to see you as always. Honor, you didn't tell me your mother was coming. You could have warned me. I brought my wooden stick. Sorry, I didn't know until today. Trust me, she wasn't exactly my first choice for a plus one either. What? What is that ringtone? Or is it just generic over-the-top ringtone? I don't know. One second, I think that's my phone. Honor, you know how my ankles get if I have to stand for too long. Huh? Okay, well, we'll see you there. Bye! Becky said she doesn't need a ride anymore. She'll meet us there. Well, are we going? Are you two gonna stand here yapping until sundown? I'm gonna sit in the car before I catch a cold. But it's the middle of June! Have you considered putting yourself up for adoption? I guess we should get going. Right you are. Wouldn't want it hard to thaw out in that hot car, would we? New location discovered. The car! Yeah, Rick's just what we playing. What are the choices? Let's have a let's have a list. So, ready for the Starshine Awards.
I've been better. I'm still kind of processing, you know? I didn't want to bug you, but... Yes, the last time you were this quiet was because of that douchebag, so I was a little worried. Well, you shouldn't. No matter how bad things get, I'm never going back there. I promise. Have you spoken to your agent about any new roles? Could always put some feelers amongst the stylus network. We hear everything. Truth be told, I haven't even told her. I don't want to rush into anything. My savings will last another couple of months. I'll be fine. Of course you will. I mean, you've got me, haven't you? And I guess you've got Scout now, too. Although, just to clarify, it's still a little crazy. You have a literal flying robot. But that's fine. I'm not jealous. You don't think it's a bit weird that Dick Stanford is hosting the awards? The Thai Chacha host is hardly going to bring in viewers, is he? Oh, there you go. You know Marcin, the stylist I know at the Late Late Show? She said it's because he runs the Starshine Committee. He uses his clout to demand they make him the presenter. The Late Late Show... That's an actual thing, or it was, at least. Sounds about right for this town. He's been running the awards this long, he must be doing a good job. Can't say I particularly want to watch him. Me neither, but Mom won't shut up about the guy. He's the only reason she's coming. I swear, when he quit TV, she was sadder than when Grandma died. Speaking of which, I think we'd better go soon. If Mom stares from me, at me from that car much longer, she'll bore a hole in my head. Denied. It's been fun having Scout at my place, but I'm exhausted. The little guy's been soaking up information like a sponge ever since we watched Casablanca. We've watched 26 movies over the past nine days. I wanted to see more, but Honor has run out of tapes. I'd warn you about getting square eyes from that much TV, but... It's not just TV. He's read almost every book I own. He loved Dad's old mystery novels. If I can learn the techniques of all the great detectives, I might be able to find out where I come from. As like Data from Star Trek, where he'd he'd be um he'd be Sherlock Holmes and he'd try to solve the mysteries. Cause he's got the brain the size of a planet. That's the wrong android. You know what I mean. I can't believe anyone would build something as incredible as Scout and just throw him away in a junkyard. Whoever they are, I don't deserve him anymore. Forget about them. I already did! That's the problem! Alright, let's see. The Witcher, Ori... Stray, Mid Ninjas, Time Team... <laughs> oh yeah! Ancora and Deliland! The games where... We met. <laughs> Fancy that! <laughs> well, I never! They've actually gone all out on the decoration this year. There's a champagne waiter. Hey, hello, over here! Honor, what's up? Everyone's staring at us. At me. What do you expect? This is what you signed up for when you became an actress. I want to find our table. Do people know about what happened to the studio? About Blake? You know Hollywood, Honor. News travels fast. I'll get over it. What's the matter with you people? You! Yeah, you in there in a cheap jacket. Maybe you should spend less time gawping at us, more time in front of a mirror. That wig isn't fooling anyone. I'm, I'm just going to check something over here real quick. Oh man, it's Dayland? I've been calling it Deliland this whole time. I'm... I'm... Dumb. Nicely done. I wish I could make that big an entrance. Brian? What the hell are you doing here? Ah, KC. Loud and clueless as always. I'm here because I was invited. Were you? Or did Honor bring you along out of pity? Oh, of course! I forgot they added an award for sleaziest ex-husband of the year. Rooting for you, Ryan. It's about time people recognized how good you were in that role. 
Thanks, KC, but I can handle him. Can you go check up on Mom, make sure she's okay? Fine. I mean, she's a step up from this bottom feeder. Heard about your showrunner. Hard to believe that kind of thing can really happen, isn't it? I have a flying robot, you dick! I'm cooler than you now! Not when you've seen the body firsthand. You must have been overwhelmed. Sorry I wasn't there to help. Thanks, but I don't need your help. I had it just fine on my own. Really? That's not what I heard. Is it true the murderer died before the cops could get to him? Took a dive off the 10th floor? Two dead in one day. Both times, you were just a little too late. Gotta say, that doesn't sound just fine to me. But I guess you're still too proud to admit you need my help. I did the best I could, under the circumstances. I'm sure you did. Just something to think about, I guess. Anyways, gotta go. Got some business to see you do. Enjoy the ceremony. I don't like this guy. He's awful. How's my ex-husband? He's an ass. That's not the definition I have on file for ass. What time does the awards show start? I can't wait to see what it's like. I'm not sure. I think I got the details here somewhere. D presented the details. So. I think that has to be that. Sure, why not you as well? Because... I have vastly overestimated how much of this puzzle I know. That's absolutely fine. We can do this. Those, two, one, those, and then one like that. There you go. I like, I like it when there's numbers, and big numbers, and I can, like, figure them out. Like, I mentioned this to Empirical Woodland in, in the mod chat, where... I think it's pretty cool that I'm not too sure which one it has to be. So, nine, gap, there you go. I think it's pretty cool that this game seems to start off a lot more easily per puzzle than the P cross S with the Sega Mega Drive one. And this one is a lot less fussy with, hey, you, you gotta, you gotta work it out. Because that one tends to give you, like, a single pixel, and you have to figure everything out from that. And it's pretty hard to do that. Well, that helps. Because then I can do that. And that has to be... Maybe one of these guys up here. I want to say it's this one. It could reasonably be any of these. Because these all start with the number one. But I want to say it goes like that. Uh, this is pure speculation. But... There you go. Oh, I can do this. There you go. So now we know that it's not that because we start off with a one or a two, which is that. And there you go. One, two. One, three. Maybe. Well, we know that that's not you. So you have to go there. See, this is why I stop and think. Because sometimes... 
I'm just rushing into the solution. And that's no good. Two, two. Well, that's definitely wrong. Why did I draw that line there? I don't remember. Why didn't I spot that? A really easy one to grab. I don't know. Go there, one, one. There. That is also incorrect. No, it's not. I shouldn't have crossed that out. I made a mistake. Wow, who knew? This is also something I feel I get wrong fairly often when I do this, is I'm eager to go, yeah, 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 that's the solution, yeah, get to the end. When maybe you don't need to do that. You know, you can, you can just chill and eventually you make it to the correct place. You. <laughs> Empirical method, I thought you meant me. Yeah, just just bold your way to the end, it's fine. That is how steam works, Andy. Is it? It's that it's a flyer good job welcome to the 21st annual star shine awards hosted by dick stanford i know that name your mother has mentioned him 43 times so far today yeah she's kind of obsessed you used to host a late night talk show back talk it says he's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award to be presented by his former co-host, Kathleen Cartwright. And it's about time, too. He's a legend. Mom, what are you doing? Did you find our table? Of course I did. But I'm not about to sit there alone with that Casey. I don't like the way that boy looks at me. No wonder she can't get a girlfriend. I don't have time to go into that right now. Is it because he's gay? I don't see Dick anywhere. Do you think he has to cancel? Jesus, well, give it a rest, will you? He's probably backstage. All these people. Why do they sit down so I can see? Hey, you with a serving tray. Get out the way. Becky. Never thought I'd say this, but thank God you're here. Me? At the Starshine Awards? Never. I just... I had some stuff to deal with at home. But you understand, Anna. You're always talking about how crazy your mom is. She said what? Becky, this is my mom. Oh, hi. I've heard so much about you. Um, she's just kidding, Mom. I... Hey, I think that's him. Mr. Stanford. Dick over here! She moves fast for an old lady. Oh no, I swear to god, if your mom gets us kicked out of the Starshine Awards, I better go find her before she does anything crazy. Oh, we can't even investigate it? Well, well, Ristras, let me tell you about the campaign slogans for one 
Richard Nixon. Mom? Mom, are you back here? I can't believe I'm actually trying to find my mom. Give me a moment to scan the area. I may be able to see where she went. There were little pins, and they said, I love dick. Ah, good times. All right. Let's do the investigation. I mean, yeah. And that means that that has to go there as well. I half suspect that one has to go there. But it could reasonably go here. Because, like, this would join up the three and the four. I don't know. We just don't know. I don't believe that I have ever worn a slogan for a political candidate. It's just never occurred to me that that would be the sort of thing that I would want to do. So, so, it can't go here. Which means we also can't put that here. Because th that's got to be a one. We need to start off with a four. So there you go. And honestly, that would make sense. Because that way we've got a two. And a four that we can work on. And a five makes you a three and a four. So you have to go there. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh! Well, well, Rickstress, let me tell you something. That did go over my head. I gotcha. You like, give him a second. He's about to do something stupid. <laughs> and there it was. So that would have to put you there, which makes you a three. And you go like that. That, that's a one. Don't need you. You can go there, get rid. Can't do that one yet, but that does mean that has to be you. Lovely. And there's still a one left over here, which to me says that's going to be like that. I don't know for sure that, that is the case. Oh no, I've already filled it in. I've definitely gotten something wrong. Because this is this this is over here. What's this about? This is supposed to be a bunch of ones. Well, I guess what? Now we begin again. This is a super easy puzzle game. And we know how it works, everyone. I can I can do P cross. So Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we can cross off you two. And we can kind of intuit where stuff needs to go based on that. It may also be witchcraft. Yes. So it's 
five. Gap one, two, three, one, two, three. No. So, we can potentially cross you out, but I don't know that for sure. So let's not do that. One, two, three, four, gap. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which means we can also do the same thing up here. It just looks a little odd because this guy is here. <clears throat> and then we can't do the same on this row because there's only a one on the right hand side. So who knows what that could be. Oh no, what's my phone one? Nothing important. Sounds about right. Well, that has to go down here. Because we can't do one, two, three, four, gap, one, two. So, that has to be right, I think. Yeah, overlapping method. It has to be those two. Which means that is right. And then you go there. And now we just need to find what is number goes over here. You have to go there. And that has to be you as well. Yeah, overlapping method again. It has to be these. It's just whether it's this one or that one. And realistically, it could be either because the numbers along the top are four. So that that's how we know. I can also do that there. You know, That can go there. That's you, that's you, there we go. Yeah. I love it when I get to figure stuff out. Now. Oh, you have to go there. Which means that column's done, which means you go there. has to go there. Which means that row's done, and so are you. And so are you. There we go. That doesn't really help out. That does help out, actually, because that needs to be a two. Which tells me that that's where I got this wrong. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is where I got that wrong. Because I ran this one all the way down here, and I'm like, oh man, I don't make no sense. But yes, it does. Because if I do that, and then a gap, and then you become like that, there you go. It's a sleeping mask. It's a bow tie. I'm glad there's no time bonus on this. Golly. I hate to interrupt, but one wasn't wearing a bow tie. Perhaps not, but my scans indicate this was moved very recently. In fact, based on the crumpled angle of fabric, your mother could be coming this way. Someone's coming this way. What? Who? Ah, good. You hear about the flowers?
What flowers? Lawn's in my dressing room, girl. Are you deaf? Dick! Lawn's have finally caught up with you. I just wanted to say what I... <laughs> Sorry, I don't do autographs. Now, about those flowers. I specifically asked for Asiatic lilies, but you gave me Al... 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 Stremeria. You gave me that. An easy mistake. The Is this a new coffee machine? I'll take a triple grande non-fat latte with no foam. So, what do you have to say for yourself? I... I... Come on, I haven't got all day. What's that you've got in your hand? It's a bow tie, but... That thing again. I told you people before. Dick Stanford does not wear a clip-on. You're cheap, tacky. The damn things don't even get tight enough. Now I'll have to go on stage in my turtleneck. I'm going to have to look like, going to have to look like some kind of amateur. I don't work here. I just... No excuses. It was all in my contract. You'll be hearing from my lawyers about this. Wait, Dick, I wanted to... So that's Dick Stanford, huh? What a guy. Yeah, he's obviously just stressed. When's this show supposed to be starting anyway? Mom, are you okay? What? Of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? I know you're a big fan of Dick's, but you gotta admit he was pretty rude. It was just stress. I'm sure he's not normally like that. He loves his fans. I'm not surprised he's a little on edge after he was all but forced into retirement. Imagine if your show was taken away from you. Well, I wasn't sure how to tell you this. If you ask me, Mr. Sanford has every reason to be upset. They made him retire, just to replace him with that idiot Bobby Price. All because he isn't young, or what's that word, rad? Back in my day, radical meant some kind of hippie. I'm surprised you wanted to come tonight. Thought you didn't like awards shows. I don't. Why would I want to see a bunch of overpaid nobodies getting awards just for standing around on camera? Thanks, Mom. Don't give me that look. You know how I feel about modern television. All style and no substance. What about Dick Stanford? He works in TV and you're his biggest fan. That's completely different. He's got style. He's got grace. He's got a funny face. A huge stick up his class. That's what sets Dick Stanford apart from the rest. He's a dying breed, Honor. When you said he was going to be here, I knew I had to come and support him. Him? Not me. My show's up for an award too, you know. Why do you always have to make everything about you? Do you know Ryan's here? He's the last person I want to talk to right now. You're bound to jump into him occasionally. He's got good connections. I always said he had a head for business. You don't find a man like him every day. I don't know why I have settled on the voice I generally use for, like, the fairy when I'm doing story time with Tiny Child. But, hey, this is what Sharon sounds like now. Thank God for that. Just try and be civil. It's not his fault you decided to leave him. Thanks again for the locket, Mom. Your father was a good man. You need things to remember him by. You're not going to keep that thing, are you? Oh! Oh! Could this be used... Could this be useful as a clue? Probably... Not! Ah! I love puns! Cool, I'm leaving now. Where have you been? I'm about to start. I wonder when you miss anything when I get called up to collect Best Actress. When? Do you even watch this season? I killed it! There's no way I'm not taking home that trophy. Will you keep quiet? Dick is about to come on. <laughs> Casey was thinking it. Yes, ma'am.
welcome everybody to the 21st Annual Starshine Awards. I'm Dick Stanford. And I'm Kathleen Cartwright. <laughs> Gotta keep clapping. I'll send you to Siberia if you don't stop clapping. <laughs> I've gotta tell you, Dick, it's so good to be back on stage with you tonight. Thank you, Kathleen. Well, isn't this a wonderful reunion? I always said we made a great team. Now, before we begin with the awards, I want to say how grateful I am to all of you out there who have supported me since my retirement. My fans mean everything to me. I may not have shown have my show anymore, but I have your support. Let me tell the world tonight, Dick Stanford is not dead yet. Thank you. Now on to the awards, and we begin with the best actress. These lovely young ladies have graced our screens this year with beauty and poise. And some of them managed to remember their lines too. <laughs> uh, yes. The Starshine Committee has nominated some very talented actresses this year. Very true, the competition was fierce, but there can only be one winner, and there was one name in particular we just couldn't ignore. Now, my lovely assistant Kathleen will do the honors and open up the golden envelope. The winner is... Sarah O'Hara for Oklahoma Dreaming! Boo! What? Big round of applause for Sarah, everyone! What a champ! I'm so happy for her! Well deserved! Really! She's earned it! Becky, people are let them stare! This is a travesty! What's gotten into you, girl? Keep your voice down. I'm sick of keeping my voice down! These awards are a joke! I've worked my ass off for four years, and what do I have to show for it? I thought it would finally be my year, but no! Sarah of freaking horror! Are you kidding me? Well, guess what? You're all dead to me! I guess it's someone's time of the month, am I right? <laughs> The rare occasion where that line is executed correctly. Very well done, game. But the hell? Becky just made Sally Field look reserved. You hate me. You really hate me. Tough crowd. I'd better go after her. So, Mrs. Mizrahi. You, uh, enjoying your evening so far? It's no good. She's locked herself in the restroom. I think she dropped something on her way out. Let me take a look. Oh, dang. All right. Cool. Addition trick. I love that. This, this does not help me a great deal, but... I mean, maybe it does. I can get some answers from this. I can get some answers from this. You have to be crossed out. You're a bunch of ones. You're a one as well, which means that you're a two. That could be a, the, the top of the line. 
I don't know. Three. Two. There you go. Remember what I said last time? I, I love this game because it's about counting. And that's a thing that I can do. Tiny child thinks she's so smart with the counting. Well, let me tell you. I can do that. Actually, if I can work out which way this number five is going, it will solve this number four. Because these are a bunch of ones on the right hand side. So if this one goes down, this one has to go up. And vice versa. That doesn't help right now, but, you know, might. Hmm. Well, if that is correct, that has to go like that. So we can cross those off. We can also cross out you and you. Which means you have to go up. Because you have to go down. That's, that's my logic, and I'm going to stick to it. Is it going to pay off? I don't know, Meb. <laughs> Let's find out. I don't want to say that has to go... Well, no, that has to go there, because I need a two. So you become a two, and you're a one. Two, two. Don't get too confident yet, me. You haven't fully solved that puzzle. And it could be anything. That's got to be you. And I feel like using the same logic as before, that one has to go to the right, so you have to go to the left. So we do that, and there you go. It's, uh, it's kicks. It's a torn up speech. I'm the, do, I, do you know what? I should have said it was a planchette. But it's taken me this long to remember the word. And I'll tell you why I remember a planchette. This is episode of Randall and Hopkirk, Deceased. Golly, why am I thinking of that? Where the main guy has been kidnapped or something. He's incapacitated in a basement. So what the ghost does is he has to go and find someone using a Ouija board. And he's like, oh, I hate these things. They never work properly. B! B! The first letter is a B! And then the planchette starts to move over. And then, ooh, what does it say? It's a B? And he has to just yell out the individual letters to the word basement and guide them down there. And that's really clever! It's like a practical application of being a ghost. Thank you, everyone. I can't tell you how good it feels to finally receive the award for Best Actress. Mom, Dad, if you're watching, I told you I could do it. This must have been Becky's acceptance speech. But her parents didn't even turn up. She must be heartbroken. That's that's not what Scout said. That's what Anna said that. It's, she, she's just doing a Scout impression. Crazy night, huh? I'm Bobby Price. Sounds familiar. Have we met? Not until now. Hey, aren't you that girl from the news? Once solved a murder? 
And this must be a little robot dude. That's dope. No, I am Scout. Bobby Price, what are you doing here? Oh, that's how I know your name. You ought to be ashamed to be in the same building as Dick Stanford. You stole his show. What are you talking about? I didn't steal anything. Can't you people leave me alone? You think you're so cool with your clothes and your your hair? Dick's show went to hell when you took over. You threw out everything the fans loved. The only thing you idiots kept was the title. And if you ask me, you should have changed that too. Back talk? More like crap talk. Oh, snap! Um. I should get out of here. I, uh, I think the show's about to start again. But on it, we should talk sometime. I'd love to have you on for an interview. Thanks. I'll think about it. You'll do no such thing. He only wants to boost his ratings before he gets cancelled. Dick's got you all brainwashed. I swear, next time I see him... See? What did I tell you? Network TV is full of idiots. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. There aren't as many well-loved in television as tonight's winner. And while he may have retired, I'm sure we'll be talking about him for years to come. I'm pleased to give this award and these lovely flowers to my old co-star, Dick Stanford. Ah, oh, these flowers smell incredible. You do know how much I love Clematis. Thank you, everyone. I spent over 20 years on television, so I... Learned a little something about what makes a successful show. And I, uh... Sorry, it's warm up here. I never thought my show would... Uh... Sorry about this, folks. Dick, are you okay? You been drinking? What? No, I don't... I, I... It's so hot in here. With all these people? Staring. They're waiting to hear from you, Dick. Why don't you tell them about our show? Our show? You mean my show? I... No, not mine anymore. Now it's his. What are you talking about? Perhaps you better go lie down? Bobby Price! That sniffing little... Th they gave him my show! 20 years, and I'm tossed out! <laughs> what? What are you all staring at? You'll think I'm crazy, don't you? We le let me tell you something. V Jean. <laughs> I don't feel so good. That is the only follow-up in my head to the opening sentence, let me tell you something. It's either mean Jean or brother. And it's probably that first one, because that's the superior, the two options. I, I don't know what to say. I'm very sorry you all had to see that. I'm sure he'll be better once he slept it off. Poor Dick. He looked terrible. He looked drunk. Dick Stanford? He'd never get drunk on stage. I'm going to go and check on him. If no one else will. Got to admire her dedication. I don't get it. We met Dick backstage and he was a complete jackass. Well, at least he was living up to his name. But Mom refuses to accept it. She's acting like nothing even happened. If you believe something for long enough, sometimes you don't want to see the truth. Especially if it hurts. Maybe you're right. Looks like the show's finishing up. Guess we can forget about taking home any awards tonight. Why bother inviting all of us here if we aren't going to win anything? As if you had anything better to do on a Tuesday night. Touché. Although there's a dra- Why are we not following the drag bingo storyline? I'd go do that. We could go to- Yes! With your mother? Good point. 
Let's just head home. Boo! That about wraps everything up on yet another wonderful evening. Many thanks to all our award winners. On behalf of the Starshine Committee, stop everything! Dick Stanford is dead! Dramatic anime five cut intersection. No? Okay. What? Dick's dead? You sure? Of course I'm sure. I know a dead body when I see one. I I'll call the police. Mom? I went backstage. His door was open. And he was... Sharon, did you see who it was? Where did they go? Leave her alone, Ryan. She's in shock. What are you, a paramedic? I'm just trying to help. You want to help? Go get her a glass of water. Come on, Mom. You should sit down. He was just lying there, staring up at the ceiling. You don't want my help? Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a tragedy here tonight. But we're lucky enough to have a famous detective in the house. Honor Mizrahi, everyone. What the hell, Ryan? No need to be modest, Honor. We've all read about how you solved the murder of Blake Patterson. Honor? What's he talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. Seems we haven't all read about it. Didn't you know your daughter is a hotshot detective now, Ms. Mizrahi? Ryan, stop. Please. It's not true, Mom. I'm not... I'm sure Honor will only be too happy to kick off tonight's investigation. How about we give her a big hand, ladies and gentlemen? Why are you doing this? Better get to the crime scene on him. You don't want to be too late yet again. Yeah, it's the murder she wrote approach. Where it's like... Of course it's going to follow the main character around. Because it's the main character. If nothing happens when the main character's there... It's... Show's kind of short. It's just Angela Lansbury having a cup of tea. Which, you know, I'd watch that. But it's... It's not as interesting as, you know, Murder, She Wrote. He's really... Don't think you could just walk away from me, Honor Mizrahi. What's going on? Is it true what Ryan said? Someone died and you've been acting like some kind of... D -d detective I've acted like a detective for years, Mom. That's my job. Don't smartmouth me. You know what I mean. Is it true? Yes, but it's just... I don't want to hear it. What were you thinking? It was bad enough you gave up your degree to become some low-rent TV actress. But now this? If your father was here... He... Mom, Dick Stanford is dead. Are you going to help or not? That's almost a David Lynch line right there. Dick Laurent is dead? Mulholland Drive, I'm pretty sure? No? Alright. Maybe I should go and put Dick's flowers in some water. They're starting to wilt already. Oh, wait, I... There's poison in the flowers. Kind of early to be collecting flowers at the funeral, isn't it? Do you have someplace else to be? Hey, I'm just here to watch the great detective at work. I'm not a detective. I just... Stay out of my way, okay? I was going to say, wouldn't it be odd if they just... Dropped all the music out of the thing and it, now it's not as tense anymore. Thanks, game. Right, so you are gonna be 
you, which means you can't be you. I'm tempted just to drop that down there. Which I will do. Because then we can go two, one, two, two. And well, so that has to be a one. So that's our eight. Amazing. That's me kicking my desk. Don't mind me. That can't be the one. That has to be part of the three. So, we'll get rid of you. So you have to go there. You know what's really bad? Actually, I have completely forgotten the sequence of events and steps that I just took to solve that little bit of that puzzle. And uh, that is incorrect. Three. Cross you out because you're four. Guys are fine. Three, one, like that. Oh, that's annoying. Because that could be any of these. have to be like that because that needed to be a one and a two so there you go also I just realized this the color scheme in this here game this reminds me of my friend Moo because that's her thing She's, she's the bubblegum cow. And she's like pink and blue. And what is maths? What am I doing? It's a hand print. Yeah. That's the way I like to solve these puzzles. It's cool if I get it right first time, but it it's also cool when I make a mistake, but I'm able to run it back. Oh no, look at this. There's handprints on Dick's neck. He was strangled? Strangulation. Death by external obstruction of the windpipe, stopping the flow to, of air to the lungs. Air is important because it contains oxygen, which the brain requires to function. Perhaps it's analogous to my primary bus being obstructed. Uh, maybe? I can't believe you're really doing this. You can't? But you know I am good at finding things. 
Not just that, everything. We're doing detective work, again. How did that happen? We thought we were done when we solved Blake's murder. It's just a one-off thing, wasn't it? We may not have been looking for a mystery to solve, but a mystery has found us. And besides, we still have the matter of my memory loss to solve. Unless you think we should stop. Stop? Miss all the fun? We might be able to crack this case before the cops get here. Do you really think so? With you to help me? Why not? Besides, it would really annoy Ryan if we did, and that's motivation enough for me. So, guess that means we're partners again. Just like in the movies! Here's looking at you, Scout. Wait, I can't count. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Uh, so we can connect all of those because we know that this has to be an 8 along here somewheres. And I want to say... It might be that one. But I could be wrong. Although, hey, I suppose, maybe, I should count. And then we go over there. I don't want to guess. I could guess. I don't want to. You're a one. You are also a one. I feel like you guys also have to be connected. Because that's part of the, the six in the middle of this run. That's what I think you are. Could be wrong. I'm likely to be wrong. This line is actually throwing a wrench in the works because now I'm trying to figure out everything from a baseline of is that part of the six or the one? Could be! Well, I know that that has to go there. Again, we overlap. Two more that you can be. You can only go there, so you have to be a two. <sighs> Clues. I love them. This is why I can't trust my instinct sometimes because I would have happily just scribbled everything out right there 
And then where would I have been? In the bin is where I would have been. And we don't want to do that. We'll do that. Well, that also can't go there, because you need to be a three across. So something has gone quite wrong. That's all went wrong. Yeah. You can't go there. Which... You have to go there, so that means that column's... Yeah, that column's empty. So there we go. So you have to be... Like that. It's looking like it's a... A magical genie lamp. Was Dick, perhaps, involved with the supernatural? And he was done in by a djinn. Could happen. Like, stranger things happen at sea, or whatever that phrase is, that I don't know. Because I'm not a sailor. But. Or is it a shoe? This line is wrong. It's a liquor spill. I thought it was bread. I got excited. I maintain convi my conviction. Someday, somehow, I will find bread. What do you want? I, d I don't know. Oh, that's what I want. Okay, cool. I got a ping. I don't like... I'll tell you who the murderer is. Me. Stop using at everyone pings. Y'all. A spill? That could suggest some kind of struggle, maybe. It smells like whiskey. Whiskey? A fermented grain liquor pairs well with beef and wild mushrooms. Would you say this smells domestic or imported? Since when do you know so much about whiskey? I scanned a copy of Rise and Shine magazine in the lobby earlier. Philip Marlowe's fascination with alcohol is finally starting to make sense. Seems like it was Dick Stanford's fascination too. Must have been drinking it before he went up for his award. That's everything for my quick scan. Should I make a more detailed sweep? Not yet. I think we've got enough to suggest what happened here. Oh, you have a theory already? I can't wait to hear it! Dick was murdered. Someone could have waited for him backstage. Whiskey suggests he was drunk, so we couldn't have put up much of a fight. Killer only had to put up his hands around his neck and... Lights up for Dick Stafford! Scout? Was that a quip? It's a quote from one of your detective novels. I'm working on a routine to make my own... Gotta admit, I'm impressed. No, really, not bad for someone with no experience or training. Who knows, 
Maybe this time you can catch the killer before he jumps off a 10th floor balcony. That guy's a dick. Honor, what are you doing here? I've been trying to figure out what happened here. I thought I made it clear last time. You are not a detective. Well, we... And as for this toaster of yours, it's got no feelings, no intuition, and undermines all the principles of good police work. I did want to take that last option, but I feel like if I took the last option, the game would be like, hey, you be serious, CPC gamer. Don't you at least want to hear what we found? Absolutely not. I've got a trained forensics team coming in. Can only hope you two idiots haven't contaminated all the evidence. So get out of my crime scene. He didn't seem pleased to see us. No, but that's not going to stop us now, right? Right, let's find some more evidence. Any time spent not talking to Ryan and instead doing Picross, that's where I want to be. Wait, can I add all of this together? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, ten. Dang, no, I can't. Unless. I think this is going to work. It's not going to work. Dang it. Because <laughs> you have to be... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Because that has to be like four across. All right. Back to the top. No! No! Don't add X's to all that stuff. Get out of here. Okay. So that's seven. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, two, two. You are ones, so you are five. This one we know to be correct. You are correct. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, three. So you go like that. Well, that is that you go there. So you can do that. You can be one. Oh, you can go down there as well. And we cross you out also. The murderer was clearly not stabbed. The murder was... Uh, ostensibly, strangulation. I maintain poisonous flowers. Like, there's a reason he kept asking for what's-a-face in his room. Because he's deathly allergic to anything else. And all we need to do is to find the florist. And that's who did it. I still need to cross one of these out. And when I do that... Wait, really? Huh. Huh, there you go. I, I can maths.
which means that you have to go there, and that row's done! Lovely! Go like that. So you have to go. Three, two, two. This is what I was saying earlier when I say I like that this game, so far at least, makes it a little easier to get a good, like, foothold in what you're doing. Because. Yeah, as you've seen, there's points where I go, I, I can't do any part of this, but then I do. Like, this has all come from what is essentially nowhere. But I worked it out. You are done. You're done. That's two. That's not you, so that has to be you. There you go. Breakfast! Oh, sell up life. That's a trashy magazine that Becky's in. Oh, they sure sell up life with a feature on Dick Stanford. This must have been written just after he retired. Looks like a typical puff piece. All about what a great guy he is. Here's something for your database scout. Gossip magazines like Sell Up Life are total garbage for people that don't have lives themselves. I have added this to my database. Thank you, Anna. That's weird. Last page has been torn out. All that's left are the first two words. However, rumors. I wonder what the rest of the article said. Probably talking about what damn good Fleetwood Mac album that is. It's got the chain on it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can numbers. So you have to go there. And then that one, we don't know. You don't know, you go there. Which has to be you. So that could be either of you. Good times. Go. That that came up out of nowhere, didn't it? Look at that. And to think, when I did that one entry level shinobi puzzle from the Sega version, and I'm there like, oh god, oh boy, I don't I don't know how to do this puzzle. Then I did. Yeah, you have to go there. You you do that. That's you, and then that row's done.
which means that that row's done. So you have to be there, that's that, you, so, like, that. I feel like something has gone quite amiss. Maybe I'm dumb and can't count. I got a rock. Oh, it's a hip flask. This smells just like the whiskey we found in Dick's dressing room. Do you think this was his hip flask? If it was, how did it get out here? Oh, do I have to? Real cops are finally here. Ready to let them take over now? Not just yet. I found this gun, is it yours? Get that away from me. Damn it, Honor, you know I can't stand the smell of whiskey. Why not? That's not... A week before he got married, he got wasted and crashed his dad's yacht into the San Diego Pier. I don't know how what was worse, the broken arm or the three-day hangover. Thanks for reminding me. Seriously, I found this gun, is it yours? Ugh, is that whiskey? You know I hate that stuff. Do you have hands? The victim had hands, are they yours? Well, I... Well, I think it's yours. According to this magazine article, there was some kind of rumors going around about Dick. Do you know anything about that? Nope. You know I keep out of all that showbiz drama. An acceptance speech. You didn't seriously think you were going to win Best Actress, did you? It's not my speech, it was Becky's. Ouch. Guess money really can't buy everything. You don't get to look at that. Did you know Dick personally? I met him a couple times. Can't say I liked him. Guy's always blowing his own horn. Really? Surprised you didn't get along. Sounds like you had a lot in common. Funny. Can you think of anyone who might want it to hurt him? Not offhand. That's the thing with this town. You never really know anyone. Tell me about it. What do you think about Bobby Price? He looks nervous, doesn't he? Then again, I can't blame him. I hear his show's pretty close to getting cancelled. What's your impression of Kathleen? Probably like this. Hi, I'm Kathleen. I like pies and cats. I don't trust her. She's hiding something. That's a stupid impression. Mine was way better. You sure it's not just because she's smart and a woman? I got no problem with smart women. As long as they're not smarter than you. Are we still talking about Kathleen? Do you really have to stand there? Oh, now you want to talk to me? Oops, I should have done this first. Can't believe you caught me out on stage like that. You had no right. I haven't even told mom about what happened yet. Yeah, I got that impression. Real healthy relationship you got there. As if you're any kind of authority on what makes a healthy relationship. Just giving you a chance. Chance to do what? To screw up? Just do whatever you think is best. You're the detective, remember? Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky again. And if not, no shame in admitting you need help. What do you think happened to Dick? He was out of his mind if that stage performance was anything to go by. Probably went nuts and did that thing. You really think he would do that? You're the detective. You tell me. Can you think of anyone who might have wanted to hurt Dick? No. 
but you have connections to people in the TV business. You may have heard something. Yeah, I know people. But I don't pay attention to when this is drama. Yes, this is the drama. That was a good slurred line read, Andy. A bow tie? You know I don't wear those things. Hmm. Yeah, we already did that one. All right. Well, let's let's investigate the saving screen. A clue. Amazing. Uh, okay, let's go to the main room. All the people are gone. What if the killer got away? Not everyone. Bobby and Kathleen are over there. I guess the cops are focusing on anyone with a direct connection to Dick. This row at the top right here, that's throwing me off because I can't use the pink grid lines to go, yes, clearly that is uh, number five. Well, there you go. There's, there's some answers for you. Ahaha! Which means that that can't be you or you. So it has to be you. Splendid! See? That is what trips me up when I do the Sega one as well. I, you count down the numbers, but then I, I forget that I have already started, and the game makes a horrible sound, and I don't like it. You're done. You're done. It is time I say, everybody, Detective Heartache has rolled the dice once again. I'm so sorry it's Picross. I know you don't like it very much, but I'm in love. How's it going, everybody? Thank you for coming on in. As oh, oh, Theater Raiden? We were playing Theater Rhythm. Well, how's that going for you? What will we be doing in Theater Rhythm? Go, go check out Detective Heartache. She's great. Big, big fan. I tend to hang out a lot when we're doing... Rogue Legacy. Which is also a pretty good time. But yeah, she likes talking about theater rhythm and playing said. And... Yeah, we get into some interesting discussions. Mostly yelling about the price of that game. Because... <laughs> My goodness. Oh, hey! That's pretty great! 100th Platinum for being of Adamantoys. Also, to be fair, yeah, Random Button is a good shout with Theater Rhythm. Because sometimes you realize, like, hey, I'm just going to play Song of the Ancients Fate over and over again because it's, it's the one that you wanted. I'm so glad they included Song of the Ancient Fate. <laughs> Which you gotta pay for it.
it's incidentally, I know you're not keen on the 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 DLC and the pricing that they've got going on with that. Let me tell you something. They included the asterisk boss battle from Bravely Default, and oh, that's worth the price of admission on its own. That is the best piece of music. Where am I missing my numbers? That's where I'm missing my numbers. It's bread. That's a wallet. Um, I, I see, I've been told that the final two DLC packs were going to be Bravely and Final Fantasy 16. And this is like somebody in the know. And I'm kind of amazed that it isn't because the last one that came out was a... a I want to say Romancing Saga Pack number three? Nothing that I looked at and went, awesome! And... I don't know, man. I've got the conflict. I've got Coup de Grasse. I'm happy. Someone must have dropped this without realizing. It's nice. Real leather. I wonder who it belongs to. We should try to return it. There's no ID inside, just small bills and a check stub for... $50,000?! It was paid today?! But I can't see who it was paid to, just an account number. Can I assume from your facial expression that $50,000 is a lot? It's a hell of a lot. Maybe even enough to kill for. You know, I could be wrong. I think Ryan used to have a wallet like this. I found this gun! Is it yours? What's your point? Ah. Oh yeah, Zeno Gears! That's right, because they had uh soaring. That has to be in it. That's like the only piece of music I seem to remember from Zeno Gears, because it didn't come out in England. But I think that shows how good Alright, that's that's a bit off game. I just showed him that, but in the wrong location. But yeah, I think it says something about soaring, where that's... That's the one. Hey, you found my wallet. Couldn't help but noticing you had a big check today. You went through my stuff? You just can't help checking up on me, can you? Don't flatter yourself. I wanted to see whose wallet it was. So, who was the... Bleh, what was the money for? Nothing. Just business. $50,000 a business? That's a lot of nothing. I don't have to explain myself to you. He did it. I, I'm i developing tunnel vision for Ryan because look at his face. Clearly he's the killer. What? Oh, it's you. Sorry, this whole thing with Dick has got me kind of bugged. Is it true what the guy up on stage said? You're trying to find the killer? I'm trying to find out what happened to Dick. Just like you did back in your TV studio. Damn, from playing a detective to a real one. That's a wild career change. I'm not exactly a real detective. I'm just trying to help. Oh, for sure. That's cool. Wait. You don't think I did it, do you? I'm not like that. Why would I throw my whole career away just to murder some old guy? I don't know. You do have hands. We found handprints around Dick's neck. Someone strangled him. Doesn't narrow it down much, does it? After all, everyone here has two hands. Haha! <laughs> this is serious, Bobby. I know, I just... I get nervous. Not because I'm guilty or anything, just... The whole situation. Oh, we did. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Don't be doing that. Didn't know if I was stuck in a four wild loop right there. I don't think any of this is really going to be worthwhile showing to... 
Bobby over here, so let's just talk to him for a bit. It's no secret that you and Dick didn't get along. And when you left our table during the ceremony, you said you were going to give him a piece of your mind. Does just talk? Why would I pick a fight with Dick Stanford? If anything, he hated me for taking over his show. Do you know if anyone else wanted to hurt him? Probably a long list. He acts nice in public, but in real life, he's got a reputation. You talk to Kathleen? She put up with his grumpy ass for years. How about that chick who started screaming about how she should have won Best Actress? Becky? Much as I may dislike her, she's not a killer. You sure about that? She looked crazy enough to do anything. Pretty cute, though. The girl who wanted to win Best Actress was Becky Cole. She plays the lead in my show, Murder Miss Terry. I thought she looked familiar. Yeah, she was pretty pissed about not getting that reward. It's a big deal for her. I guess if anything could drive her to murder. People do crazy things sometimes. Make mistakes in the heat of the moment. Doesn't make him a bad person. Hey, are you friends with her? I'd love to get her number. T to get her on back talk, I mean. Since I bet she'd be a great guest. This is becoming a recurring theme. People seem to think Becky is hotter than the 90s over here. And I don't know. I, I disagree. Also, going back to theater rhythm briefly, I believe what Square Enix have said is that the hundred dollars is for theater rhythm, all the bonus content, and season one. So it may very well be the case that they do the rock band thing and they do just keep adding to the game and adding and adding and adding. Because that seems to be the way that, like, game dev and support is going lately. Because it's what... Uh, it's what Smash did, for example. It's what... The latest Taiko Drum Master. It requires an online pass, but the online pass just just keeps updating every month. Here's two or three new songs that we still have the rights to. And that's pretty cool. Asterisk. I don't want to keep paying for a game in perpetuity. I've already bought it, thanks. Stop charging me for it. I want to pay for it. It's fine. Can them? Can them? And, yeah, you know, to be fair, it's not like Square Enix has any shortage of content that they can go for. The thing that I'm hoping they do, I'm hoping they do something that and they just go like, alright, here's all the, the weird stuff. Here's the obscure stuff. Here is Rad Racer and uh, uh, Vagrant Story. Was Kudelka one of theirs? I know Parasite Eve was, and that's got some wild soundtracks. And Pepsi. Buy Pepsi, it will restore your hit points. <laughs> Did Kathleen not get along with Dick? They seem kind of tense on stage. She had to work with Dick every day for almost 20 years. Forget tensed. I'm surprised she's still sane. Oh my god, the bouncer! <laughs> the 2000s, the video game. <laughs> you took over back talk, right? Is that when your problems with Dick started? Yeah, and that asshole knows how to hold a grudge. I'm pretty sure I have a copy of the bouncer somewhere. Like, oh man. Oh, do you know what should be in in theater rhythm is that one fight against Mother from Dragon Guard Four, where out of nowhere this character action game becomes. Just a bonkers hard rhythm game. One of my streamer friends, FKL, they took, I believe, three straight days trying to beat that stupid boss fight. And I was so proud of them when they did. It hadn't been on air in ten minutes. He was already talking shit about me to the press. He's too flashy. He's ruined the show. Sure, we updated things a little, but come on, man. That said, I hadn't changed since 1979. Couldn't he just ignore him? 
Sure, but then the hate mail started coming in. It's got all these crazy fans. My ratings crashed. They're already talking about canceling the show. So your TV career was threatened by Dick. Would you say that made you angry? Well, yeah. But I wouldn't kill the guy over it. Hello, Catherine. Tell me words. I hear you're investigating what happened to Dick. I wish you the best of luck. I guess you've heard by now. Dick was strangled. Oh god, please don't tell me anymore. I can hardly bear to think about it. Let's try this. No? Okay. She's wearing gloves. So, I don't necessarily think that it could be her. But unless the detective comes out and is like, we found no prints. And that means it was somebody with no fingers. Does this belong to Dick? I don't think so. But you saw what he was like on stage tonight, drunk as a sailor. Is there a chance the hip boss belongs to anyone else? We should investigate every possibility. Well, it could be Bobby's. I've heard he started drinking to cope with the stress. The production team aren't happy. Imagine going through all the trouble of rebooting a talk show just for the new hosts to get carted off to rehab. Hmm. Excuse me a second. Do you recognize this hip flask? Is it yours? Detective always have it in the movies. Never seen one before in real life. It's not what I've heard. Is it true that you drink when you're stressed? Oh, that's crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I've seen Dick with a hip flask backstage. It's probably his. You saw how he acted on stage. Guy was drunk and an ass. Alright, Catherine, start talking. How long did you and Dick work together on Backtalk? Oh, many years. I've heard people say it's hard to imagine there was a time before I was on the show. You weren't there from the start? I didn't join until the second season. They wanted someone who could attract more viewers. Do late night talk shows have seasons? Like, I don't know, D D Jimmy Kimmel and Conan O'Brien and that, aren't they just rolling shows that are always on? Do they have seasons? John Oliver does. Good shout, actually. Ugh. You should have seen the outfits they tried to squeeze me into. Hardly more than swimsuit some days. That's terrible. That's television. But I stood my ground. I like to think I made a difference. So strictly speaking, yes, they go from sweeps to sweeps. Years on the air in individual season, that might be a good shout. Because I know that that's how they... That's how they started categorizing Doctor Who. Because for the longest time, they didn't list it as like SO1 EO1. It was just, I don't know, here's an episode called The Face of Evil. It's the best one. Um, and lately, they've just been like, season 2009. It, it's that one with the mannequins, and so on. How was your relationship with Dick? Oh, we got on just fine. Really? When we met him, he was kind of an ass. This is Hollywood. Everyone has their problems. But I'm a professional, and people who complain get a reputation. Besides, nobody wants to hear about backstage drama. They'd rather just relax and enjoy the show. Although I don't think anyone was expecting the show they saw tonight. Do you know Ryan Blackstock? He was on stage earlier. Massive prick. 
You mean tall, blonde, and handsome? I was wondering who that was. Funniest thing. I saw him with Dick earlier today. They were getting lunch at Dylan's on Fairfax. Lunch? Why would Ryan be getting lunch with Dick Stanford? Your guess is as good as mine. Whatever it was, it wasn't going well. It seemed like they were arguing. I wish I could tell you more, but I was in a cab at the time. I only caught a glimpse. Well, Coochie Mario, I guess. You don't think it could be related to what happened to Dick, do you? I threw that in because my friend Sim is going through these VODs and in about a week's time, they are just going to send me a text message going, shut up about Voyager. <laughs> it's not even that good. What do you know about Bobby Price? He's talented, but he's got big shoes to fill if he wants to keep hosting Backtalk. He doesn't seem to be much of a fan of Dick. They never saw eye to eye. Dick hated having his show taken away from him, and Bobby hated working in Dick's shadow. Hated it enough to kill Dick? Bobby is young, ambitious, and impulsive. More than that, I can't say. You mentioned Bobby Price has a drinking problem? He'll deny it, I'm sure, but I've heard plenty of stories. A way to calm his nerves, I suppose. What do you think he's nervous about? Oh, the usual. His performance, his ratings, Dick giving him a hard time. <laughs> and now a murder, too. It's no wonder the poor kid has issues. Issues... Like this? Have you seen this article about Dick and Celeb? I'm so glad that paid off. If it hadn't... Oof. Of course, Dick was very proud of his front page billing. I'm guessing he was less happy when he saw how the article ended. Something about rumors? Still missing a part of the article. Let me guess, the entire last page was torn out? Dick did that to every copy he could get his hands on. Never could take criticism very well. <laughs> Personally, I think it's good that these magazines do a little digging occasionally. Call it investigative journalism if you like. Remember when Hideo Kojima's name was taken off Metal Gear Solid and he just went around game shops writing it back on? Not signing his name, he just took a pen and he's like, and Hideo Kojima, and then he would leave because he is a madman. <laughs> so you think there's some truth to the rumors they printed. Can you tell us more about what they were? Sorry, I'd love to talk, but I have to take this. It's a very Kojima thing to do. It was great. I heard Dick was arguing with Ryan Blackstock earlier today. Do you know him? Know anything about that argument? Ryan who? Sorry, I don't know the guy. Have you read this Cell Ad Life article about Dick? No? Seeing his photo on the front cover was enough to put me off. It says there were some rumors going around about Dick. Figures. A lot of my crew worked on the old show with him. From what I hear, he wasn't exactly easy to work with. Anything bad enough that someone might have wanted to kill him? Sorry, I don't remember. But you see, like, do you want Hideo Kojima to do film? Because it will be two people standing in a room, yelling at each other. In other words, the videographers will be kind of lazy because you just got two people yelling at each other in a room. That is to say, the two people in a room who are yelling at each other would not be very interesting to look at. Which means it would not be very interesting to look at two people in a room yelling at each other. Nano machines. That was a bit. All right, who do I want to go and... <laughs> All right, you got me there, Vertical Woodland. It's better than a video game of that. I, a friend of mine showed me Peace Walker and it's 45 minutes before they picked up the controller and went, right, now the game begins. I'm like, I... I could have made a meal in this time. What are you doing? Are you still here? What did forensics find? 
We're still waiting on blood tests, but in my professional opinion, Dick Stanford was strangled to death. We knew that already. Oh. Well, we also found... Whiskey spilled on the floor. Telltale sign of a struggle. Yep, we knew that too. Jesus H. Christ. How about the door handle? I guess we missed that one. Aha! See, that's why you should leave this to professionals. We know how to check for prints. Penguins, was that an actual puzzle that I could have done in Purple Woodland? Had I looked at the door handle and he'd be like, oh, well, I guess you found that too. Because that, that's pretty clever if the game's going down a flow chart. I'm just, just having a drink. Oh, I could have done that? Amazing, look at that. You found prints? That's great. Well, not exactly. The handle was wiped clean. It smells like the killer cleaned it with the whiskey. The alcohol would have acted as a solvent. A very effective solution. So let me get this straight. The only new thing you found is where some fingerprints used to be. I... Look, it's not about who found what. It's coming to the right conclusions. See, I'm wondering why the game didn't let me do that. Because after a while, it said, That's all the clues. Let's move on. I would happily have kept scouring that room for Picross puzzles, but... Ah oh well, and that takes experience, expertise, and intuition. You want conclusions? We've already got two suspects, Bobby Price and Ryan Blackstock. Is that so? What's your evidence against Bobby? So it's not you. Because everybody has hands. And it's not that one. I don't think. Because he said that he didn't read it. So he wouldn't know. I'm going to turn to the hip flask. Because. He. We have learned he likes to drink. When he's nervous. He is currently nervous. Seems he may have. been, But he couldn't have been drinking. Because he's actually fairly lucid. Hmm. Well, my finger's on the button. We found this hip flask backstage. It contains the same whiskey as we found at the crime scene. And I've heard that Bobby Price has a drinking problem. Interesting. Needs more evidence to back it up, but it's a good start. How about your other suspect? What's that Silver Spoon Blackstock kid got to do with this? Ryan Blackstock was seen arguing with Dick this afternoon. Not much on its own, but he also signed a check today for $50,000. Mm. Bodies have a nasty habit of showing up when there's that much money at stake. And Ryan isn't exactly trustworthy. Oh, you know him? He's my ex-husband. And an ass! I'm going to assume he picked that up from you? Hello, Risan Josh! I'll, we'll come do the thing after the... Give me like 20 minutes. And a cup of tea. What can I say? He's a fast learner. Okay, I'll admit, you found a couple of good leads. Follow up on them just as soon as I finish my report. Do you need my help with your report too? I'm told I have very neat handwriting. I've had just about enough of your crap, Ms. Rahi. Now get out of here, will you? Can't afford any more liabilities. Captain's got me under a microscope for this one. I thought I told you to leave you alone. You know, you're starting to become predictable, detective. And you're starting to become a real pain in my ass. You want something? Or you just here to bug me. Hey, uh... Honest mother dropped her bag in here earlier. We would like to look for it. Your mother, huh? Y yes, her bag. That's why we're here. Alright, but do it quietly. I got paperwork to finish. Good thinking, Scout. Since when do you know how to lie like that? 
It was one of the many things I learned from detective movies, along with a snappy one line of subroutine I mentioned earlier. You'll have to show me later. Right now, we'd better look for clues before Cross realizes what we're really doing here. Yeah. It won't let me scroll that far. I don't think that's uh, true at all. It could be true. Aha! Oh no, I hate these ones. Look at all these ones and ones and ones. do that much. And then... D Hello, Reese, personally. Good to have you back. Please enjoy the lurk while I struggle with all of these wands. I am good at counting. See, this continues to be the thing that trips me up, is going, oh man, I can't do any of this, but then I completely miss that that was a, a full row, and I could have just checked that off entirely. Ah, oh, well. We, we did get there, so there is that. Did I get that wrong? I did. That could potentially be the answer. Okay. Cool. I, I did that the wrong way around as well. So, that can be two. That could go up there. So, it has to be you. Which is you, like that, and this. Go. I'll never be able to do this puzzle, he said, and uh, then proceeded to do part of that puzzle. Wow. And that has to be one of you. Oh, I think, I think that's going to be like that. But that could just be me trying to make patterns where there are not. That would make it so much easier, wouldn't it? Wait, I missed the boat on that one. Look at that. I'm glad I didn't take my guess as the thing that I had said earlier. Otherwise, I would be in the wrong. 
All right, so what else have we got over here? You have to go there. So you have to go there. You're a three. Done. You don't go there or there. So it's you. This row is baffling. That makes a lot more sense. But that can't be right, because that has to be a bunch of ones. Something is not right in this puzzle. Um, so that's gonna be you, so that's fine. You have to go there. You have to go there. So, what have missed? I don't know, because this looks kind of wavely. I think it's this row. I don't think that row is correct at all. But I'm not sure how. Because, like, all of this stuff is, that I can tell, correct? I mean, I don't want to start over, but it might be time for starting over. Like, th this little thing down here, this mix-up. That's what's confusing me. Well, that... Nope. Sorry, everyone. We begin anew. A button to do this automatically would help on occasions. Right, so you have to go there. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, this is the row that I went. I could have just counted that down. And there we go. So that has to be correct. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Can't be you. Same deal with up here. That has to be you. Can't be you. Two. Two. Gap. Gap. One. One. Gap. And I feel like if we do this, we, we've still got the same, like, mix-up down here. Based on the overlapping, that has to be you. Yeah, 
I think the error may have come earlier when I inferred something that I shouldn't have done. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, like, that. You may be about to see me infer the very same thing. Hold on. That's me guessing. I don't know that that is right. Well, no. That has to go there, because this is all once. So... Yeah. That's that that's how I built that last time. So that makes sense. And then I feel like that has to go there to make that into a 2. Or it could reasonably go there. So this is the sort of thing that in the other one that I played and streamed, I affectionately termed this sort of thing like boss levels because I genuinely struggle with puzzles when it's just one 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 two. Solve for X. <clears throat> doesn't make sense. I could, I thought, hey, I can fill out this row, can't I? I, no, because it's got to be either of these two. I mean, I could do that, because that has to be true. So you have to go there, that has to be you. Because then I wouldn't have enough space to do two and three ones down here, you see. So that's my logic in that. And that's not going to be you, and it can't be you. Stop making happy faces, Scout. I don't know if I'm right or not. You leave me alone. If I went over there... That would make sense. But I don't know for sure that that's the answer, because it could still be like, this could be the top one. And then, one, two, one. Two, three, four, five. You see what I mean? It could be anything. And I want to say that that one is that one, because it complete the row. Uh, or is it? I don't know. It would make this very tricky. And I can't put the one in either of these slots, because I don't know which it is.
Remember earlier when Detective Heartache came in and I'm like, I know you don't like Picross. This is why. Because... Which is looking at a sheet of graph paper feeling confused. Which I do, frequently. Surely I've got to be able to put something in this row. I can! And that's why you don't want to go over there when you're doing the thing. You can't go there, so you have to go there, right? Yeah, you have to go there. You can't go there, so you have to go there. You can't go there, so that has to be you. Three, two. This is looking a lot more plausible as a clue in a crime scene than whatever that goggle mesh was the first time I did it. No. There, there, there. There you go. It's bread. Oh, it's a medallion. D. D for d detective. That's me. It's some kind of coin, but I don't recognize the currency. It's not a coin. It's a medallion. They give these to recovering alcoholics. And according to the engraving, Dick Stanford has been sober for 40 years? If that's true, the spilled whiskey must belong to the killer. Do I want to do another one? Screw it. Let's do another one. This will be my last one. And then we'll, we'll save it and go raid someone. So naturally, the game gives me this massive thing to deal with. But that's fine. This is a lot easier than the first one, I think. Because I can, at the very least, pick out some numbers to work with in this one. So, we can do that one, for example, and then that one, and like that one. See, we can pick ones and twos out of this. Oh, that would be far too easy, wouldn't it? But it's right! And here's why. You start picking at a thread, and you start finding stuff, and you find the answers! That has to be you, has to be you, on two, three, two... Two, 
five, four, two. There you go. I'm talking like a hipster robot who has reinvented binary. And I'm just talking numbers. I saw Bronwyn playing this, and the version she's got, it's got a little thing up top that gives you clues, and I don't know if that's, like, because she's on the Windows version, which could very well be the case, but... I don't know. You go there. It could be op like options, options. I don't know. Maybe I'm not using them. It's just really cool that like next to the this one over here I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's something else I may have been misremembering it I occasionally become confused Bosh it's a Game Boy close actually This must belong to Dick. Looks like his password protected. Can you hack into it, Scout? Sorry, Anna. This is a little embarrassing, but I don't have the right cable. I can only interface with devices bearing an RS-232 port. This device's interface is proprietary. I need some kind of adapter to connect with the PDA. I can't access the data without it. Got it. Well, let me know if you see one around here. I think we found everything we can in here. At least all Cross is watching. A password protected PDA and a medallion? Is that enough to crack the case? I don't know about the PDA, but the medallion definitely raises some interesting questions. If Dick doesn't drink alcohol, then the whiskey and the hip flask it was spilled from is a direct link to the killer! And I think I have a pretty good idea of who it belongs to. Dick. Dickface. Brian Blackstock! Brian? He hates whiskey. All the more reason to throw it on the floor! Nice try. But I think there's a more obvious suspect. Bobby Price! What are you two yammering about? I don't mind you looking for your mom's bag, but can't you do it quietly? We, uh... We just found it, actually. We'll get out of your hair! Enjoy your paperwork, detective! It's incredible. She's so much like him. You look like you've lost something. Need any help? Oh, uh, hi! Lost something? No, nothing. Are you sure? I can find anything! I found car keys this one time. It's cool, it's cool, I'm just trying to find the men's room. I thought you said you weren't looking for anything. <laughs> I guess I did. Anyway, I'll just be... Well, that was weird. Question, we're gonna go into the men's room and be like, all right, which is it? Is it a one, or a two, or a three? What are you doing in there? Tell me these words. 
All right, put you down there. Because that's, that's going to be me for today. Thank you for coming along, everybody. Thank you, Detective Heartache, um, for the raid. Bringing along your friends over. Oh, yeah, you need to do that in a tree, don't you? Now, see? We've, we've got the... <laughs> we've got the brainwave connected today in Pericle Woodland. You and me. You and me. Man, I showed my friends the, the clip... Of the um, it was the 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 show and tell from last time, and yeah, you know, when we were looking at the the music box, and my friends were like, "Oh, is 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 that the music from Panic? Like, it is. My everything broke music is from Panic." It's so appropriate. Empirical Woodland has a suggestion for a raid. Hit me with that suggestion. Where are we going today, Empirical Woodland? I trust what this guy says. Except for when it is that I am muted. That, I feel, is a lie. Let's go raid Josh Jake Wright. What are they doing? I don't know. We're gonna go find out. Yes. Here's my raid message. Is it, is it that one? No, that's that's Riad. That's that's something else. Bang! There you go. There's the raid message. Copy that. Let's go yell that at him. And yeah, come along on Sunday. We're gonna check out a bit of. Overwatch, gonna do some missions and all that. And uh, until next time, goodbye.